Welcome to the FTB Command Center. It stands for Federal Time Bureau. We are a secret government agency tasked to find a way to travel back and forward in time. I am Director Washington. Let me say that time travel exists. The theory of relativity shows us that space and time are intrinsically linked. And yet the technology has not allowed us to go back in time. That is until now. We have made a significant breakthrough. We can now view the past through our viewer and see moments in time. With our research we may know who they are, and much more. Of course, we may not know anything about them. Maybe in the future we may be able to dig up the past and reveal everyone. Who were the people who lived before us? What were their dreams? Who did they love? What hardships did they have to endure? Those who lived before us have made us who we are today. Before you join us in connecting to the past, help support our research in our agency by clicking the subscribe and smashing that like button. Do not forget the notification bell, so you can visit us again. Now, let us see our history together. Walk over to the view as it connects to the past. Two little girls out on a snowy day in 1887. Their names and location are unknown. Are these pretty little girls sisters? We can only speculate at this time. John Burroughs was an American naturalist and nature essayist who was steering Henry Ford in the first automobile. The quad cycle designed and built by Mr. Ford at Highland Park plant in June 1913. Both of these gentlemen shared a love of nature. They had different feelings, however, concerning the automobile. Ford was determined to familiarize his friend with automobiles and convince him of their advantages. He eventually succeeded. After this photograph was taken, Burroughs began using a model to doing field work. Hollywood High School in Los Angeles, California in 1941. The school, established in 1903 in a two-room above a Masonic temple on Highland Avenue. This current school was built in 1910. The school's mascot was derived from the 1921 Rudolph Valentino film of the same name, The Sheik. Some notable alumni include Meredith Baxter, Carol Burnett, Lon Chaney Jr., Lawrence Fishburne, Judy Garland, Sarah Jessica Parker, Keith and Robert Carradine. Anna May Walfell, an actress that appeared in 24 silent films, poses here between 1914 and 1919. She was born on October 3, 1894 in Shelby County, Alabama. She married Luther Oscar of Eldridge on June 9, 1926, and the couple had a son, Junior, and a daughter, Georgian. Her father was Captain Junius Lee Walthall, a Confederate officer in the Alabama Regiment, and left this world on April 17, 1950, at the age of 55. Drivers line up and wait for the Wasson Motor Check which was offered by the Haviland Oil Company at the Texaco station on the corner of them. Florida Avenue and 14th Street in Washington, D.C. 1924. The Wasson Motor Check was a comprehensive checkup for automobiles, designed to ensure that they were in top condition for driving on the city's busy streets. The checkup included an inspection of the car's engine, brakes, and other key components, as well as an oil change using Haviland Oil Company's high-quality motor oil. McNabb Store in Buttermilk Junction, Indiana, in April 1937. They served Linko gasoline, which was later bought out by Marathon. This station would only last a few more years as it was demolished between 1940 and 1941 to build the Naval Ammunition Depot. That site later evolved to the Crane Naval Depot, building 101 sits where this station rests today. Did you notice the chicken and dog on the porch? Maybe you noticed a young boy at the door with a person with glasses behind him. What else did you notice? Leave your comments below.
Afiri Devore Mitchell with three of her children in 1946. Afiri was born on August 12, 1922 in Edgefield, South Carolina. Her father, John Walter Devore, was of German and French descent and her mother, Mary Emma Strother, was a combination of Native American and African American. 1933, her parents sent her to New York City to stay with her great aunt, Stella Carter, in order to complete her studies. She received her diploma from Hunter College High School and attended New York University where she studied mathematics and languages, having attended the Vogue School of Modeling in New York. She became one of the first African American models in America in 1938, at the age of 16. With the help of four friends, founded the Grace Del Marco Modeling Agency in New York City. Determined to both promote and serve the emerging market for non-white women in the U.S. modeling, in 1948 she created the Ophelia Devore School of Self-Development and Modeling. In 1955, Devore and her models made history as hosts of ABC's weekly television show, Spotlight in Harlem. This was the first television program in New York City produced by and for African Americans. She also created a makeup line for women of color and developed and produced the first beauty pageant for black women in the United States. Ophelia left this world in New York City hospice on February 28, 2014, at the age of 91. Jane Mansfield first appearance in Playboy Miss February 1955, an event that helped launch Mansfield's career and increased the magazine's circulation. Jane was born Vera Jane Palmer on April 19, 1933. She was an American actress, singer, nightclub entertainer, and Playboy playmate. A sex symbol of the 1950s and early 1960s, and Jane wasn't shy about her sex symbol status. She declared, I think sex is healthy, and there's too much guilt and hypocrisy about it. Mansfield was performing at the Gus Stevens Supper Club in Biloxi, Mississippi. After two appearances on the evening of June 28, Mansfield, her attorney Sam Brody, their driver Ronnie Harrison, and three of her children left Biloxi after midnight in a 1966 Buick. Their destination was New Orleans, where Mansfield was to appear on WDSU Midi Show the next day. About two. 25 in the morning on June 29, on U.S. Highway 90, one mile west of the Rigolets Bridge, the Buick crashed at high speed into the rear of a Johnson tractor trailer, driven by a Mr. Rambo, that had slowed down for her, approaching insecticide fog spraying truck. The top of the car seared off until the car reached the axle of the trailer. The three adults in the front seat died instantly. The children, asleep in the rear seat, survived with minor injuries. The following year, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration mandated all truck trailers must have rear impact guards. The guards became known as Mansfield Bars. Jane left this world on June 29, 1967. Yugi Berra shakes hands with Babe Ruth at Spartman's Park in St. Louis, Missouri on June 19, 1948. It would be the last time the Babe would be photographed in a baseball stadium. Babe Ruth was born George Herman Ruth on February 6, 1895 in Baltimore, Maryland. His professional baseball career in Major League Baseball spanned 22 seasons from 1914 through 1935. Ruth is regarded as one of the greatest sports heroes in American culture and is considered by many to be the greatest baseball player of all time. He was nicknamed the Bambino and the Sultan of Swat. In 1936, Ruth was elected into the Baseball Hall of Fame as one of its first five inaugural members. In 1946, Ruth began experiencing severe pain over his left eye and had difficulty swallowing. In November 1946, Ruth entered French Hospital in New York for tests which revealed that he had an inoperable malignant tumor at the base of his skull and in his neck. His name and fame gave him access to experimental treatments, and he was one of the first cancer patients to receive both drugs and radiation treatments simultaneously. The babe's health improved, but the remission was brief. His health deteriorated. On August 16, 1948, at 8.01 p.m., 
Ruth left this world in his sleep at the age of 53. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our travel back in time. Let us know in the comments which photo meant the most to you. Perhaps you may know who that unknown person was. Let us all remember those who were here before us. One day, we too shall be one of those people. Come back and join us again for another journey back in time.